Hey everyone, it's Ashisha with She's So Crafty, also known as SSC Customs and Supplies. I know it has been a while since I have spoken to you all, but I wanted to jump on here because I've gotten several questions in regards to what program I actually use to format and print my sublimation designs. And so I decided to do a quick but thorough video on how I actually format as well as print my designs um, through Silhouette Studios. Um, also, within this video, I'm actually going to show you the exact settings I use for my printer, which is the Epson ET 2720. So if you have that printer and you're wondering what settings am I supposed to put on to get the best print, I am going to show you that in this quick tutorial. So be sure to um, continue to watch. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you all now, and I hope that this video answers all your questions. Okay, you guys, so now I have Silhouette Studios pulled up, and this is how it looks when you first pull it up. Um, so we're going to go over here to the right-hand side to our page setup, and here you want to change your media size to the letter or whatever size your printer will allow you to print. Then you want to change the transparency if your screen or your mat is all grayed out like this so you can actually see the paper. Um, and then you want to be sure to change your orientation to um, portrait, not landscape, because if you do, it will cut off part of your image. So be sure to change it to landscape or portrait, just the way you get the best print. Um, and then always check show print border down here. So again, make sure you change your media size to whatever size your printer is set up for. Your transparency, if your mat is all gray, you can't see your paper, and then your orientation to portrait, not landscape, because that is the way in which your printer actually feeds, and then always check show print border. Then we're going to go up here to file and merge, and actually input your design that you want to apply or print out for your actual sublimation tumbler. And mine here is set at 50 by 50 inches, so I'm going to change it to the exact size of my actual tumbler. And remember to always, always, always check or measure your tumblers. Um, so once you have your design, you want to go over here back to your right hand side and you want to go to your transform panel. Um, click on that and then go up to where it says rotate or it has a little back arrow and just click the rotate button. And then up here, you want to select where it actually says center to that page. Um, then that way, if I zoom in, you'll actually be able to see where it is centered directly in the middle of my print line. There's a little bit of space, so nothing will get cut off. Um, and then once you have that center, you want to go back up to file and then down to print. Um, and then you're going to select print again. It's not going to automatically print anything. It's just going to take you to your print, your select print options. And here you can again see I'm using the Epson ET 2720 and then I click preferences. And then under here, I already have my sublimation um, selected. But again, you want to make sure that your document size is set to the same size as what you have on Silhouette Studios. And then your orientation is the same portrait, not landscape. Then under paper type, you want to choose the very last option, which is the premium presentation paper matte. That is the best one for your um, print. And then quality, of course, is going to be high, not standard. And um, then you're going to choose color, of course. Um, and then up here in the top, it has an option for main and more options. You want to select more options. I'm not sure why it's not showing on mine, but that's what you want to select. And then on this tab, the only thing you want to worry about is where it says color correction. You want to select custom and then advanced. Once that pops up, you want to make sure you choose ICM. And then at the bottom under additional settings, you want to make sure that you always select mirror image. Of course, when you're sublimating, you always want to mirror your images. So make sure you select that. And then if you go up here to add or remove presets, it'll allow you to actually save these um, exact settings under whatever you want to name it. So under name, you can just type in sublimation, uh, sublimation settings whatever the case may be, and then you want to go down to where it says save. And then once you save it, you'll actually see, um, once you select it, what your current settings are versus what you just registered it to be um, down here at the bottom. And because my current settings are already the same as the new ones that I just set, I'm just going to go back 
and remove that. Um, so I'm going to delete that off of there and then just use just the sublimation one that I already have preset. But that's an easy way for you to be able to just know, hey, this is what I want to use. Sublimation always. And then once you click that, go ahead and click OK. And then if this is your first time ever using it, this apply button will highlight to blue. Once you've done that, click that and then click print and you're all set. <laughs>